Sir from 17 once again, introducing you to my Ghost Recon Future Soldier Elite Difficulty video walkthrough. This is the final section to Invisible Bear, and uh, we're going to be moving through an office building filled with destructible scenery, turrets, and plenty of dudes to shoot at. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, then sit back, strap on your, you know, psychopathic mask, and enjoy killing random soldiers on the battlefield. But as far as your audio pleasure this evening, you will be hearing the final summation of my little three videos long rant about YouTube. And don't worry, I'm not angry, there's no emotion behind this, it's an objective look on something that is extremely personal to me, and uh, this is the the end, the climax, the 11th hour, whatever you want to call it, this is the, the personification, this is it, this is my epiphany. So. I got some responses back from these these partnerships that I sent out, and uh, I'm not going to mention any name but one because it's the important one. And the first person to reply to me was Ken Burton of the European Machinima recruitment team. And anybody that's seen Call of Duty commentators will know Ken Burton well because he has quite a reputation. And the email I sent to Machinima was, like I say, I, it was a toe in the water to see what they required to, to be partnerships with them, and it was just a little bit of information of what they offered, and the reply that I got uh, wasn't that informative, because I imagine that he gets a lot of emails, but I will say this, out of all the network, Machinima were the first to respond, so out of that, I'm very grateful. So the people there are extremely professional, and they responded quickly and did a good job, so that's all I can say. But... They rejected this email as an application for Machinima, saying that my channel did not meet the requirements that they are looking for. And that is perfectly fine. But at the same time, I couldn't help but feel like I'd failed. And objectively, when I look at it, I know my statistics aren't high enough for Machinima because Machinima is kind of like the Marks and Spencer brand of, you know, carrier bags when it comes to partnerships, so they are the best of the best, they are the highest you can aim for. And I do believe in time I would be able to qualify for them, but just the fact that I, I'd put forward some information, they'd looked at my account, and they'd pretty much shot me down dead. And it was it's tough to take something like that, even though you know the whole reason that you fall down or you stumble when you're trying to do something is so that you can learn to do it better, persevere, and you know build character from it. But it sucked so much because I think I am probably the best channel on YouTube that no one's ever heard of. And I know I'm supposed to think that because I'm building it and a large part of this is me as a person. But it just, it makes you wonder how these other channels get to be as big as they are when you try your best and don't see fruits from it. But don't worry guys, don't take this as a negative thing because uh, I couldn't be more positive. Watch this as well, I sweep shot this guy. Completely by accident. It's pretty amazing though, I, I hit him through cover and whomp, there we go. <laughs> I think my thumb got caught on the analogue or something, but he goes down pretty quickly and that's the end of the mission. But the one big emotion that was evoked from that experience of, of seeing just that rejection email was literally... A burning passion inside to make my channel so good and so you know so popular and and so worthwhile that Machinima regret the day they sent that email and there's no malice behind that this is not me calling them bad people or there's no anger whatsoever I just want to see jealousy in their eyes when they realize what they could have had and with people that watch this video, with people like yourself who are listening right now and enjoying what I'm saying and have enjoyed things I've said in the past and things I've done, you are helping me form that platform and build that foundation. And I am infinitely grateful to each and every one of you. And I do realise there's a large percentage of people that never comment because I'm not much of a commenter myself, but we're always there, we're always watching, we're always listening. And the people that you watch are always appreciative, even if they don't mention it. You take care now.